Thank you once again to Boxu for sponsoring this video, more on that later. So earlier this week Bandai had the Hobby Next Phase 2022 Summer where we were meant to get some Gunpla announcements on the Wednesdays in the day before the day before yesterday. Which always gets me really excited, I love new Gunpla announcements, but what doesn't get me excited is the announcement of an announcement. Unless that announcement of an announcement is for the next Verka. So they haven't said what it is yet, it's celebrating the 20th anniversary of Master Grade Verka. And this comment here by Zedrift actually made me think, that is a good idea. A top 10 Gundams I'd want to see as the next upcoming Master Grade Verka. Not what is the most likely to happen, the ones that I would want. That is a fun concept. So that is exactly what I'm going to do right here. But before I say anything, just stop this video, stop it right now and make sure to drop a comment down there. If you had a top 10 or mobile suits from Gundam that you'd want as a Vercon designed by Kotoki and coming in one of those nice pristine white boxes, what exactly would it be? Type it down there. But yeah, as for the what would be the most likely, more than likely we're going to be getting a rehash of the Master Grade Oryx 78 II Verka, the 2.0 of that, as in the 20th anniversary one, that is the most likely. You know, it's a celebration of Katoki making kits for 20 years as a kind of anniversary, it makes sense that they just make that one again. The Verka version of the Oryx 78 II is a little bit dated, now I haven't built it, but just by looking at it here you can see inside the shoulders and all of that, it just is in Master Grade, well, Master Grade quality. And as far as I know, it did come out before the 2.0, so I'm not even sure if it has a full inner frame. But I do know people love it, and it's up there with the One Year War Master Grade as one of the, well, the most beloved RX-78 1-100s round. But yeah, so what Gundam, so I'm sticking with Gundams, would I want as the next Master Grade Verkan? I'm going to set a couple of rules so I don't wander off too far, and also trying to keep it a little kind of likely. So when it comes to Katoki and what he's released, you're pretty much guaranteed something that he has designed before in one form or another. With all the Verkaz, it's kind of that way. If you ignore the Thunderbolt and the Psycho Zaku, everything else he's designed before in one form or another. Either on a series he's been working on or worked on like Stardust Memory, Endless Waltz, Victory Gundam, etc. Or something he's designed for another line, like the Fixed Figuration line. There's a lot of work already there, and he tends to already use something that he's done before. At least that's how it seems to be. So keeping those in mind, here's my top 10 Gundams I want to be the next Verka that are still somewhat likely to happen. So, you know, it's not like the Psycho Gundam is going to be on there. But yeah, anyway, thinking makes me hungry, so I need some sweet, sweet Japanese sugar to keep my mind working. And you, well, you can too. Once again, this video right here was sponsored by Boxu. Boxu is a monthly subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings right to your door. Each Boxu features a new theme, providing a gourmet journey through Japan every month. And Boxu is the only company that partners with 100 plus year old family snack makers for genuine, authentic selections. The first Boxu you'll receive is called Seasons of Japan, and following Seasons of Japan, you'll receive a new monthly themed box like this one. May's theme was Boxu's birthday. Each Boxu is absolutely packed with snacks and it comes with a cultural booklet that tells you all about the theme, where the snacks are from, details on all the flavors, and it even teaches you a few Japanese words and phrases. Like I mentioned, this month was Boxu's birthday, so we're celebrating with Boxu Tanjobi. And some absolutely classic Japanese snacks, including one of my all-time favorite Japanese snacks, these Takoyaki Puffs. All the glorious tastes of Takoyaki, without the actual octopus bits. Strawberry mochi chocolate truffles that are so soft, so delicate. Absolutely delicious hoji cha tea flavored cake, matcha chocolate country mam cookies, and by the way, country mam cookies are the absolute best. And of course, this would not be a box without a decadent rice cracker or two. So if you'd like to try some awesome Japanese snacks and support my channel at the same time, then just click that link in the description and use my code MECHA15 to get 15% off your first box of order. And at number 10, this Psycho Gundam. I know I said no Psycho Gundam, but how cool would it be to get a master grade of what is essentially the biggest Gundam around? The 144th scale high grade is already big enough, but just imagine how cool it would be. Now, once again, just like I mentioned, everything on this list is somewhat likely to happen in some degree. This is very not likely to happen, but he has made the Psycho Gundam, the Psycho Gundam Mark II before as part of the fixed figuration line, which look absolutely phenomenal, by the way. So he has designed it 
in the Katoki style, so if there was a tiny tiny sliver of a chance to get a master grade Psycho Gundam for just making your shelf bend right in the middle trying to hold that behemoth up, then I would totally want that to happen, but it's not that likely, so that's why it's at 10, but I would love it. <laughs> Coming in at number 9, what I would love to see is the Master Grade Epion Verka. Now the actual Master Grade Epion we have is a very great kit, it stood the test of time so well and looks fantastic. I love it and I love it a lot. Now two years ago we got the Wing Zero Endless Waltz Verka, and I can't believe that is two years ago already. So that does mean the Epion isn't all that unlikely, but then again it's a number 9 kind of unlikely, and a number 9 I kind of don't want it that much because, like I said, the Master Grade we have is a solid, awesome kit. And definitely not as dated as the Master Grade Wing Zero that we would have seen before. That one was incredibly dated compared to the new update we got as the Verka, but it would be nice to see an Epion with the exact same level of detail, new gimmicks, and the full 2020-2023 level of quality. It would be great but not as great as some of the other things that I'd love to see further down the list. And this one I feel is super likely, but not likely for the anniversary, and I think we're going to see it at some point somehow. That, of course, is the Wing Zero Endless Waltz Snow White Prelude. It's pretty much just what we have already in a different color. So I think this is a super likely kit, but not very likely for the upcoming 20th anniversary. I want this and I want it a lot, I just don't want it for the anniversary because it would be a little bit of a letdown. Just a palette swap kit of something we have already. Again though, I would like to see it. There was a fixed figuration metal composite before of this, so that is pretty much... They are like 1-100-ish, aren't they? I think they are. So likely, but I don't want it that much for this or next year's 20th anniversary celebration. So now getting into the stuff that I really really do want and that is at number 7, a Master Grade Mud Rock Gundam Verka. Now, I don't think this is very likely at all, but I would adore it. The Mud Rock is one of the coolest classic looking Gundams around. Now, what would make this even better as a Master Grade or a Master Grade Verka is the fact that this has two more suits heavily based on it that are great. That of course is the G04 and the G05. So getting back to stuff that Katoki has designed before, there is a Katoki designed version of the Mud Rock which looks phenomenal. And this of course was part of the Fix Figuration line. And I've said Fix Figuration a few times now and just in case you don't know what that is, it was a line of figures designed by Katoki in the Katoki style that came out quite a few years ago, at least 10 more, 20? I'm not sure quite a while ago. And what we got were some cool figures that you could actually convert. So number 0020 was this right here, the Mud Rock Gundam, which was convertible with the armor inside of the box into the Gundam G05, as in the Oryx 785. This is a very cool concept and why I would love to see the Mud Rock as a Verka, because that would mean more than likely Bandai would make the G05 and the G04 as well in brand new, phenomenal Verka quality. That would be so cool to see. I adore the high grades. If you ever get a chance to grab the high grades of the Mudrock G04 or G05, I highly recommend them. Those are some fantastic, classic looking Gundams. And at number six, and what I expect to be actually announced is the Oryx 782 Verka 2.0. And the reason I say this is, I know we've got one million different variants of the Oryx 72 in Master Grade form, but these are kits that Bandai tends to push the envelope on quite a bit. They're always very nice and each one outdoes the other. Even when the Origin came out around the same time as the 3.0, these were two kits that were very different in what they did, but both fantastic. The 3.0 had all the detail, was like a giant real grade, and the Origin was one hell of a posing machine, both fantastic, both impressive. And what I would love to see next, of course, is the Oryx 782 in a 2.0 with the great new quality that Bandai does pump out. What Bandai can do with molding, part separation, is off the charts. And there would be the chance as well of a FA-78-2 Heavy Gundam, because if we got a prototype color swap, 
this could be done. It was done with the fixed figuration figures, so it's not entirely unlikely. Kitoki's design of the Oryx 78 II is phenomenal. Now, Bandai, when they do remake things like the new Gundam Verka, it's not exactly the new Gundam, so we might see some nice changes, new gimmicks added to the mix. This is an anniversary kit, so I expect them to put in something that they've never put in before. Here's hoping. At the fifth position in what I would like to see, and I think is still quite likely, and this is more I would like to see it as opposed to being likely, and that of course is a Master Grade Verka Ground Gundam. Now I love the Ground Gundam. Eighth MS team is absolutely fantastic. It's a real mix of gritty real robot drama with a nice 90s anime feel. And the Gundams in that are really, really cool. However, I do feel personally that the master grades that exist of the Ground Gundam and the Easy 8 just aren't as awesome as Gunpla could be. They just don't have that magic that I like from kits. They don't look that great out of box. They feel a little bit hollow and the articulation really, or well, even the detail isn't really there. So a Vericon designed Ground Gundam Master Grade would be a real treat. As for the likelihood of this actually happening, I think it is quite low. I'm not actually sure how much involvement Kotoki had in the 8th MS team, even though apparently he was on the staff. Now, if you see the memorial box for the Blu-ray, we did get a lot of nice Kotoki art on there with the Ground Gundams and the EZ-8. So, there is some degree of involvement, but not a lot. So, the likeliness of this coming for the anniversary, or ever, I think is quite low. But I would love a Ground Gundam, and of course an Easy 8 for a car. Coming in then at number 4, and this I kind of just came up with while looking around my shelves and kind of musing a little bit as to what would be a cool next for a car. And that, to me, I think, would be the Gundam Mark II. Now, of course, Katoki had nothing to do with Zeta Gundam way back when, as far as I know, but, if you take a look at the Verkas we've seen so far, we've got the Oryx 78 II Verka, we've got the new Gundam Verka, and we've got, of course, the Double Zeta. So he does do some work redesigning some stuff for kits from Universal Century that he didn't actually have involvement with. Now, when I'm looking at my shelves, I did realize that both the Mark II and the Zeta Gundam's Master Grades have dated quite a bit with zero update for things that are absolute classics. They need an update and they need one pretty bad. They're both solid awesome kits, they're great Master Grades, but compared to the Gundam 3.0 that I have here, the the Double Zeta Verka and the new Gundam Verka, with the evolution of the Universal Century Gundam all lined up here, I feel the Zeta and the Mark II really could do with a bit of a nice Kitoki spit shine, especially with the level of detail we would have seen the absolutely fantastic Double Zeta and the Fats. And picking the Mark II is quite literally just kind of the one that I would like to see. Of course, I'd love a Zeta Gundam Verka, but I think the Mark II needs some nice updating. Actually, either or would be cool. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, Zeta Verka would be pretty cool as well. Next one! Xe Gundam. Think about it. A Master Grade Xe Gundam. That would be ridiculous. It would be an absolute monolith. And also, it's actually up to date. But I would be releasing something that is actually relevant right now. With part one of Hathaway's Flash already came out. Apparently there's two more parts, I think, on the way. It would be pretty cool to have that absolute titan of a mobile suit in Master Grade with that ver ka ridiculous finish and design. Of course there is the Penelope as well, but that is a little bit really, really, really over the top and I like the absolute combined unit that the Kusi is, that it doesn't actually have a separate flight unit that it connects into, it is just one complete Gundam. So even before being involved in Hathaway's Flash, Katoki actually has done a lot of design work on the Kusi Gundam and of course the Penelope as well. We've got two different figures available that I know of, there could be more, of the Kasi Gundam that have been designed by Kitoki himself. That is the Robot Damashi or Robot Spirits cast signature Kasi Gundam, which has this big old booster unit round back. And then there is also the Gundam Fixed Figuration version of it, both of which with that ridiculous Katoki flair. And honestly, 
nicer looking than the high grade. Damn, I actually should add these to my shopping list, like, right now. I don't know how hard they are to get, but I want them. I mean, seriously, just think about the absolute mass that that would have. If you had a 1-100 scale Verka version of the C Gundam, it would be bigger than the Sazabi Verka. It would be bigger than the double Zeta Verka. And just imagine the amount of detail packed in there. That would be awesome. That is something I would kill for, and it's kind of likely. If Bandai feel crazy, it is kind of likely. But this is only number three. What's two and one? <laughs> so what we're looking at right here with this particular Verka is it is a 20th anniversary. Anniversary. So if you're gonna have an anniversary of something, it has to be fairly important. Now you'd expect, like I said, it to be the Oryx 78 2. So if that was not part of the equation whatsoever, I would assume that if Katoki had any kind of say in the matter, he might go back to where he started, at least where he started with Gundam. And the first thing he actually worked with in mechanical design when it comes to Gundam series is Stardust Memory. So yes, I want a Master Grade Dendrobium. 100% Master Grade Verka Dendrobium. Probably, what, $1,000? $1,500 of ridiculous amounts of plastic, I would love it, love it to bits, but that seems like it would be nigh on impossible. He did design it, and famously so, it's a ridiculously awesome design, but there is something that is similar, that is a lot more doable. And once again, jumping back to his redesigns and his own particular toy line, which is Bandai's fixed figuration, we had this right here, the GP-03S Stamen with weapon system. Now this is in the Dendrobium, but this is still quite large. Now I found this picture off of Pinterest. If this is yours, well, good job. Thank you. There it is beside the Deep Striker. Now we did get a Master Grade Deep Striker, so this isn't ridiculously big. Well, it'd be pretty big. It'd be pretty big, alright, but it won't be that big. That tube would be pretty big though. It'd be pretty big. But anyway, that would be incredible. He designed the GPO-3, as far as I know, and that way it would mean we've got a big kick arse mask. This is what I want. More than anything, even though this is number two, this is what I want. I love the GPO-3. It's an amazing looking suit. Of course, I would happily take a Verk off the GPO-1 and GPO-2 as well, but this would be so cool. So what's number one then? <laughs> So the Dendrobium is a ridiculous, ridiculous mobile armor. It's huge. It's crazy. If you haven't seen Stardust Memory, you need to see it. It's just worth it even for the Dendrobium alone. If that isn't Katoki's finest design, and what I would want as my number one Master Grade Verka if I had the choice and could somehow wish it into existence. No, there is one design by Katoki that is finer and better than them all. Master Grade Nobel Gundam Verka. Master Grade. Nobel Gundam Verka. That is what I want. If I could choose anything to happen, that would be it. The high grade Nobel Gundam is brilliant. The design is ridiculous. It's Mecha Sailor Moon. That is pretty damn cool. And that giving the full Master Grade treatment would be ridiculous. Imagine the customs. That would be off the wall. Likely to happen? Absolutely and utterly not. But how cool would it be? Especially Katoki's actual design or, well, yeah, design, his actual design. This one right here, it looks cool. All those Katoki decals, it would be ridiculous. That would be the best 1-100 around. And just for those of you who are curious, there is an actual fixed figuration figure of this as well. And man, I, I, I saw a load of these when I was living in Japan, just lying around in recycle shops and whatnot. But I was like, I only like model kits. I don't really care about figures so much. I regret not picking them up back then. I need to keep an eye out for these. These are cool. And anyway, Master Grade, Noble Gundam, Verka, Bandai. Make it happen. Make it happen. But it's probably going to be the RX-78 too. But yeah, anyway, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Once again, drop it down there in the comments. What would your top 10 potential Verkas be? If you wanted them to happen, likely or otherwise, drop them down there in the comments. And as always, I'll see you next time.